today is the last day that I'll be on the trail with Nico, which is a bummer. And I don't know what the future holds, but we shall see. I'm gonna continue trying to push on without my buddy Nico. You know, giving myself like five days of trial day because I've never hiked like alone before. So I'm giving myself a few days to kind of figure it out and I'll make up my mind by Twin Lakes. Hey hikers, Muppet here with Good Nature Trails. So I just got off the shuttle from Breckenridge. I was continuing on for my five day trial to see if I was gonna continue hiking the Colorado Trail solo. On the fifth day of this five day trial, I was gonna decide whether I wanted to continue hiking the Colorado Trail or if I was going to drive back home to New Jersey with Nico. Yeah, today is August 2nd and it is my first day attempting the Colorado Trail solo. It's a little surreal, a little scary, but right now I have the mindset where I think I got this. Right now I am going to cross the Blue River. But yeah, a little sad I'm alone, but that's okay. Gives me more time to be in my head out here. A lot was going through my head at, at, this, at this time. I was excited, I guess, in a way. I knew I'd be able to move at my own pace. When I wanted to stop, I could stop. When I wanted to go, I could go. So I was excited for that, but I was also nervous. I was like, what's gonna happen at this campsite when I'm all, all alone, you know? Like, how am I gonna feel? Am I gonna be scared? It's different when you, when you don't have someone to hang out with, you know? I was nervous, but I was also optimistic, you know? I was trying to look at the positive sides of being on my own out there. <sighs> Right off the bat, got a really pretty view and uh, an intense climb ahead of me. You might hear me trying to catch my breath. I thought I was finally over that stage, but I am not because I have a full pack of food on my back. All right, I'm about three quarters of the way through a 3,500 foot climb. It's been tough. <laughs> But I'm almost there, and the rest of my day will be easy after, so it's fine. And so I think I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes here and take a breather. So I was just up here enjoying this view when I found Breckenridge. So I got picked up somewhere down in that valley, I think a little even further. All right, the, the top of the pass was pretty beautiful for about mm, two minutes until the uh, skies opened up and some lightning, some hail, some freezing rain. So I went uh, bolting down the mountain with quite a few other people, two of which I've been running into a lot since uh, Waterton. The coolest part about this trail is definitely just talking to people and just learning about their lives and just getting their perspectives on things like more than just the trail you know it's just really really incredible there's just an incredible incredible community out here like i just had about like a 20 minute conversation with someone named jason no trail name yet but you know he said he said the trail will provide for him as it always has great dude he's going into cooper today to get a burrito and some coffee and i'm mighty jealous i was really nervous about feeling just really lonely out here but i am not I haven't met a more supportive and more friendly group of people than the people I met on trail. And these are all people of different age groups, different geographical locations, just like people you'd never expect to have a connection with, you just have a connection with out there. And that's, that's a one in a kind feeling. Now I gotta figure out where I'm going. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I'll wait until I cross the street. Go, go, go. All right, I crossed the street. Doing a little bit of a climb again. Just a baby one. Just a baby one. Then I valley again into a Copper Mountain ski resort and then camp. Oh God, camp. I can't wait. I am very hungry. 
and my new buddy Jason is getting a burrito right now. I'm a little jealous. It is dumping rain right about there. So cool how you can see that. Took me until just now to realize it, but I'm hiking through ski slopes. It has started raining on me again. I've just arrived to the Copper Mountain Ski Resort. I will be going right past, even though a burrito and coffee does sound really, really good right now. Oh my God. There's an Alpine coaster. This guy's zooming. Just a roller coaster. Right in the middle of the Colorado Trail. It's freaking sweet. <laughs> Whoa. That's freaking sweet. When me, Nico, and Paris finished up uh, the collegiates and we were gonna head back to Waterton. We met a couple of hike hikers who were section hiking a part of the uh, CDT. And they were really genuine, good people. I just ran into two of them who were at Monarchs Pass with us. Their names are Gary and Lori. Just really genuine, nice, kind people. Really, really great to run into them again. I was ready to call it back there at about 18 and a half miles. And they told me in one more mile and a half-ish, I should be finding a really cool campsite. Taking their word for it and going a little further. This is about to be the best night's sleep ever. So this was my first night properly alone. I set up camp and there was no one there with me. I had a little fire that night. I'm pretty sure I had service that night too, so I was able to make a few phone calls, which definitely helped. You know, it was kind of scary. I had to make the best of it and just remember that I was fine. Any scary thoughts I had were just in my head and overthinking kind of like what could happen rather than what normally will happen. Jason's just a little bit in front of me. Greg, who is now going by Mud Skipper, is a little bit behind me. I've been running into Greg an awful lot uh, the past couple of days. He goes by Mud Skipper now because he tried uh, pole vaulting over uh, a patch of mud. Beautiful day so far. Wind is starting to pick up because some storms are a brewing. Really dumping over here. Going for my first 20 mile day today. Oh yeah, I'll be walking towards uh, active landmines today. So shortly after, I think it was the next day, me and Jason were going through a old World War II kind of training ground. So it was really cool. It was this big flat area of land with trenches in it and there were bunkers and it was all right there. You know, you could walk through all of it, but all the fields surrounding they had a bunch of signs that were like, do not go out here, you know? There's uh, probably still active mines in the, in the area. I'm talking mines like underground bombs. When we'd come up to these fields, we, we wouldn't step out there, but when it was the bunkers, we'd go explore, kind of see what was up. I am about 17 or so miles into my day. Ran into Mud Skipper and Jason again, I sat down at a river. Mud Skipper's calling it a night there. Jason's a bit behind me. He's pushing on. And I picked a bad time to start filming because it's a very steep incline. So I'm gonna stop filming. I am not gonna lie. Today has been very tough. Going a little slower than I thought I would today, but tomorrow should be a really Really easy day, and I'm getting picked up by Nico. He is driving me down to Monarch Pass to do a resupply and pick up where we left off after the collegiates. 
Excited to see him again. Excited to go into town and get some town food. Almost halfway through today and I still got like two really steep climbs. I had to make the decision, continue the through hike or go back to New Jersey. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a tough decision, but I thought I was gonna be okay. I made the decision that when Nico was gonna pick me up, I was gonna have him drop me off at the end of the collegiates at Monarch Pass to continue the through hike. Good morning, everybody. Today is August 5th. Nico's picking me up today. Um, we booked a little hotel in Salida, so gonna be spending the night there and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I'll be getting dropped off at the end of the collegiates where we left off. I'll be continuing on with the rest of the trail. Trial run of uh, hiking solo was a success. I'm looking forward to uh, continuing and pushing on and finishing the trail. I should be done in exactly two weeks. More than halfway there. It's uh, kind of a crazy feeling. This trip was a long time coming, you know. Nico and I have been planning this trip for, you know, the better part of two years. Time is flying. Before you know it, I'm going to be a pool boy back in New Jersey again. So this is a pretty cool moment for me. First time I stepped foot on the Colorado Trail was uh, when we day hiked uh, Mount Albert. We had to walk along the Colorado Trail for a little bit before getting up to the uh, trail for Mount Albert. So here I am again, back where I technically started. And then today I'm going back to where I actually started the through hike of the Colorado Trail. So pretty cool moment. The last day was just really, really great. I believe that was the second day that it didn't rain on me on the Colorado Trail. I was having great weather. I was making great time. The terrain was nice and easy. I was just in a great headspace, you know. I was I was moving good. My my body wasn't hurting as much at this point. I was ready to keep going. Nico came to pick me up. He drove me into town, got my resupply, did everything I needed to do, and then we went and got a bunch of fast food. We stopped at Sonic. I got a full Sonic meal, McDonald's, and I got a bunch of McNuggies. We also went to Dairy Queen, and I got a bunch of ice cream. I don't think I've ever missed fast food as much as I did that day. Fat, greasy, terrible food. There's just something about it that makes it so great. And that was in the town, I'm gonna say it wrong, I think it's Salida? It's either Salida or Salida. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. It was a great town. It was it was fun to see Nico again. But at this point, Nico was gonna drop the car off at a buddy of ours house who lives in Colorado, and he was gonna fly back to New Jersey. It was just me out there after that. But again, Relentless Ed was right. You really never do hike alone. I was super glad that I still had support out there from Mad Rat, Mud Skipper, and Jason. So the trail community kept supporting me out there, which I can't thank them enough for that. Nico was dropping me off back at Monarch Pass to keep heading south into Durango. No more flip-flopping from this point. I was just going straight down to Durango to finish the Colorado Trail. But we'll get into that in the next episode. If you want to keep up with my through hike, be sure to subscribe. Anyways, I'm Muppet, and I'll see you on the trail.